So growing up with cerebral palsy, I've had some interesting moments that have happened to me. Just like the way people respond to me having cerebral palsy or some of the weird things that have happened to me because I either look two years younger than what I am because I was so small growing up or because of my cerebral palsy, people didn't know how to react around me. Um, there was the first, one of the first times I remember I was like in the second grade, I think. And my twin brother Wes and I were in like separate classes, but he told somebody or a couple kids about, you know, what happened to me when we were little. And so I'm eating lunch that day and, uh, there's this girl in line and she just shouts out to me. Wyatt, are you going to die? And I'm like, no, I hope not. If I am, can I finish lunch? <laughs> so that was super weird. But I just thought it was kind of, now I look back on it, and I think it's kind of funny. Um, another time, I was, oh, how old was I? I was in college. And... We went to go, I went with some of my friends to go get something to eat, like at McDonald's or whatever. And I'm just standing there because, like, I didn't really want to eat anything. I mean, I was born with, I have, like, an eating disorder, so, like, there are sometimes I don't even feel hungry. So, like, I'm not a big fan on going out to eat, but I didn't feel like getting anything. And I'm, like, uh, if you can't tell from the screen, I'm pretty skinny. I only weigh probably about 88, 90 pounds. So I just decided not to get anything to eat, and I'm waiting for my friends to order and get their food. And this old guy is, like, looking at me. He just keeps looking at me, and I was like, what's up with this guy looking at me? This is weird. Well, he gets, he goes to leave, and he gives me, like, five dollars. He's like, go get something to eat, young man. And before I could, like, say anything, he left, and I was like, what just happened? <laughs> I was like, he probably thinks I'm homeless or something. <laughs> Because I'm just so skinny. And I saved that money to buy a video game. <laughs> I didn't want to get any food. And I thought that was really funny at the time. Especially being in college. I told a lot of people uh, that. My family even thought it was funny. <laughs> um, probably the weirdest. Probably the weirdest one that happened to me. Was. I was 14. And I was. At the Y, I was lifting weights. And I get a lot of people that come up to me and they ask, what's wrong with your hand? And, and I tell them I have cerebral palsy and everything. Or, and depending on how I feel on that day, I'll make it really short. Or if they want to hear the whole story, I'll tell them. But usually I make it really short and just tell them I have cerebral palsy. And this one guy, I, I told him I had cerebral palsy. And... Uh, He's like, can I pray for you? I was like, oh, yeah, that's cool. I was like, that's really nice. Now, I thought he meant, can I pray for you? Like, when I go home and, you know, say my prayers to God and everything. But he meant, like, right there at that moment. <laughs> so, like, I didn't expect it. And all of a sudden, next thing I know, he puts his hand on me and he starts praying. And I, like, bow my head and I was like, I'm 14. So I think this is really kind of weird. And the uh, f little funny thing is that because he did it so quick, I didn't get to stop my music. So on one ear, I have a head, head, one of my headphones off. He's praying. In the other ear, I got this song going, and it's ACDC, Highway to Hell. <laughs> <laughs> now I thought, like, well, yeah, that's probably where I'm going to go because I didn't turn off the music during this prayer. I'm going to go to hell because of this. <laughs> But, you know, some people may not find those moments funny, but I do. Um, I just, you know, learn to, you know, shake it off and laugh about it. I mean, I've been through some serious moments in my life. And then when those serious moments are over, my siblings and I, especially my brother and I, will make jokes about it. Like, I make a bunch, bunch of jokes about my back surgery and everything I went through. And that's honestly, like, humor is just... How I dealt with it. I dealt with going through cerebral palsy and just having cerebral palsy. 
And you got to laugh at yourself every once in a while. If you can't laugh at yourself, then you're just going to be worried about what people think and stressed out. and You know, that's not fun. So just laugh at yourself 